Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides and to do this reading you can either pick your piles through your zodiac signs which you will find a timestamp to that down in the description box which will take you straight to the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which of the piles they're going to fall under but if you prefer to pick your piles with your intuition of course in today's reading there are two ways in which you can do that first way is to pick through the high priestess of each deck or to pick using the crystals at the top of each deck. If this is your preferred method, let me introduce your crystals to you. For pile number one, you have the blue howlite. For pile number two, you have the sodalite in the shape of a pyramid. And for pile number three, you have the Mukite Jasper Tumble. So, Take a look at which one of these three piles you're the most drawn to, and this or these will be the piles for you here today. As I always encourage you, in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, then trust your intuition. It is your guiding light that leads you and guides you to the right readings. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And as mentioned, I will see you in your reading. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created just for you. And what I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And then in a moment, I will be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, I think we have shuffled it quite well. Let me place the crystals up top and then draw out the first four zodiac signs. So one, two, three, and four. Right, so pile number one's signs are Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer. Pile number two's signs are two, three, four, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Libra. As for pile number three signs, they are Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, and Aries. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each pile. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, and rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. And if you prefer to pick your piles using another placement in your chart, of course, feel free to do that as well. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your timestamps and I will see you in your readings.
Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful blue how light. I feel this one, so let's take that. And um, some of you have picked this deck through the High Priestess. And if you've picked this pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. Can't wait to get into your reading. And also, by the way, if these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. They are not the official zodiac signs of the pile by any means. They are just a simp uh, another way for people to pick their piles as well. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at your oracle cards. So you have give. Oh, such a nice card that gives off warm, beautiful, peaceful, restful, happy, loving vibes. So it says, is it time to share your gorgeous energy with the world? Giving mindfully can be lo a lovely way to connect. Oh, love this for you guys. Okay. And what if I place this here? You also have TikTok, TikTok. It makes me feel like it's time for something. Uh, so your guides are delivering news to you about something that is perhaps meant to happen now to you or begin now for you. Something of that sort, for sure. For sure. I feel like this is divine timing for something. And you have here and now, you see? Here and now. Where you are and where you are, uh, this is the time that is meant for something to birth in your life and you can see that egg. This thing, whatever it is, as we're gonna find out in your cards in today's reading, is going to change your future because you can see clearly in the card you have a past uh, post and a future one. So you can see that whatever is meant to happen now will be changing the course of your future in such a grand way. And what does it say here on the flag? You are here. Exactly. It's like they're talking to you at that point of your time. And it makes me feel that this is again about timing, like something is meant to begin now for you. So let's find out what this is. The musician, inspiration, gratitude. Gosh, it, it, I feel like it's going to be an experience. It feels like more of an experience to me because of the heart, the music. But let's see. So you have Venus in Aquarius with detachment. Okay, I feel like if I place this here, we'll definitely have space for you to see your cards properly. All right, so now let's take a look at your tarot cards and ask what is the important news from your spirit guides? What important news do you have from your spirit guides in today's reading, please? What does pile number one have as important news from their spirit guides? Let's check out your cards. So you have the King of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. Hmm. And the Two of Swords. Again, I feel like with the two paths here, whatever you don't see coming with the Two of Swords is really going to change paths. And I feel like it's going to affect you in some way to make a strong decision. Hmm. So that experience perhaps will feel so good that it will prompt you to sit down and think, right, should I take this path that I'm on or should I hop onto a new one? Let's find out. 
So you've got the Five of Swords, <clears throat> the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. You've got another Ten, the Ten of Swords. How interesting. Like something is definitely ending here. Okay, you have the emperor. Mm. Okay, sorry, I'm just pausing because I've noticed the rune here, the Ingwa's rune, and it just gives me a lot of ideas, but again, I'll just pause until we take a look at the rest of your cards. So, you have the empress, how interesting. Emperor and Empress. Guys, are some of you like maybe going to be parents? Egg here, pregnant Empress. Not sure. But it could be very specific for some of you. Um, you've got the Nine of Wands. The King of um, Pentacles. Sorry, the King of... Cups, my apologies. Also, I'm noticing the Burkana rune here that's related to fertility. So something is going to start in your life, whether this is an actual, like, literal child or you embarking on a new journey. Some new life is being birthed right now, here and now, for you. And you have the strength card. How cute. <laughs> and finally, so nice to see it right under the Ten of Swords. Ah, and you've got the Devil card with Hille. So nice. And I'm happy that this Devil card has Hille because Hille is an awesome goddess, you know. She felt like she didn't fit in the... She was, she's like, as you can see, half underground body and half beauty. And she felt like she didn't fit in the... A regular world, I guess, is how we say Asgard. And so the gods made her the goddess of the underworld. And she was she's so kind to the people who come into the underworld. They come there for, you could say, like therapy. She hosts them. She helps them. And it's like she makes it an awesome place there in the underground. So, oh, look at that. Look at these two kissing. So, a, a very interesting cards. Let me first reflect before I tell you exactly what I'm seeing. I feel like you are going to go through an intensely good emotional experience now in your life. This emotional experience could be you having a child. It could be you coming together with your divine counterpart. It could be you embarking on a new journey where you get to enjoy and do the things that you love to do every day. So please take it how it resonates. It's going to differ from one person than the other. It could be you getting into a new world and uh, moving to a new city. I I I'm not really sure. I'm seeing so many energies like uh, attraction here, birth, um, embarking on a journey where you get to enjoy doing your art and your craft, to, to enjoy doing the thing that you love, traveling is where I'm getting the boat here. And it could be spending time with uh, people, having a good time with special people in your life. So... It's like I said, what I can definitely see as reading the energy of your, uh, of your cards is that you will feel so, you'll be vibrating high, you will be vibrating love, you will be vibrating, I almost want to say, uh, euphoria. There is such a calm, beautiful feeling that I've noticed from the very first card in your reading. A very emotionally pleasant experience and for the last time i don't want to repeat myself sorry guys but i feel like you it's going to differ from one person to the other and it's beginning now for you and uh, what i am noticing 
you know, with Hille, the double world, you like, and also the Inguas, which really took my attention from the very beginning. And the Inguas rune is all about something you've, something that you're about to harvest, something that you're about to enjoy, but to be careful because it's at its, it's at its stages where you didn't receive it yet fully. And so you want to be careful that you take good care of it so that it, uh, you take out the harvest um, without harm. Examples of that, as I always tell you with this rune, are like, for example, in old times when they were giving birth, it's like they're the, the Ingwa's rune is like, you're about to have your child now, but you want to be careful because there were a lot of uh, children that died when they were born. And so you want to take good care of it to make sure that this blessing that just came into your life stays there. Or, for example, the harvest, you know, the plants are out. It's a great time. You're about to harvest it. But maybe in the nick of time, since it was planted organically, obviously, in the past, maybe a fungus or some sort of infection happens or a pest, a, a insects eat it up or even crows and birds and animals. And you might just end up with a little bit. So it's a time where you're, you're really feeling high, I would say all time high with emotion and feeling so good um, with this experience. But you want to be careful as you feel that high and enjoy it and indulge so much into it. I'll tell you why. You do, of course, see the Ten of Swords here and Ten of Wands. You want to be care careful because something can form in one way or form in another way that may not be pleasant. See, two ways, two ways we could form in one way that could be absolutely awesome for you or could form, form in another way that you may not necessarily like. So your guides are here giving you updates and um, giving you insight on how to win it with the Five of Swords, to take it in a more favorable way. The two rings here makes me feel like you might be committed to that thing for a long time. So you want it to work out in your best interest. So you can commit in a way that is pleasant and that is the strategic right way with the King of Swords. Or you can commit in a way that may not may feel like you're always confused and you don't know what's going to happen next for you and it may not be stable. So, um, also before I tell you what your guides are guiding you to do, if you take on that way, which is the confusing way, um, see the Five of Swords is a card of either winning or losing. Again, that dual energy, right? If you take it... Uh, like if you're not disciplined about one thing or the other, I'll tell you what I'm seeing in a moment, you might feel stuck. You can't see ahead. You might feel like you're constantly losing something that was supposed to be a, like um, um, something that was awesome. Sorry, I paused because I've noticed the Ansu's rune. I'll get to it in a moment. So we've got two Northeast runes in a moment but any any anyhow if you take the other way you might be feel like you're losing something that started off as great and it might bring you feel it might make you feel stuck it might make you feel like um you're carrying heavy energy uh, and in a lot of pain so why go through it that way you can see how your guards guides are now guiding you to take the other direction. And it begins from the beginning. Like um, the process of doing the right th thing begins from the very beginning of that experience. Although you could be feeling very high and it's not the time to think about, oh, I must do this right because the experience is so awesome. It is in fact the right time to do the right thing. So, for example, let's take it as relationships, as what I'm literally seeing in the cards. But if it's not, it's something else for you. 
it's the same advice because I'm only reading energy. But it would be easier for me to explain it in terms of love. So let's say you are in a, starting an experience and you're, it's all time high, full of emotions. Whether you're beginning a, a career that you love, you got just an opportunity that you love or you someone for most of you this must be like a relationship a, a divine counterpart there's a all-time attraction going on between the two of you and you are like high in love your guides are saying are guiding you to detach why it's because of the nothi's rune i just noticed here see the nothi's rune since it's in the Eight of Swords, the Nothi's rune has several meanings, but one of the meanings is need. And so um, the need for these emotions, for this good time, to feel so attached to these emotions can, in the future, near future also, make you feel stuck. It may lead to you carrying heavy emotions that you don't want, maybe carrying heavy worries, carry, uh, making you feel like you're in a lot of pain. And so up there, if you let need take over you with the Eight of Swords, you will be experiencing all this uh, heaviness. But if you overcome this need with the Strength card, then you will be going through a, an awesome experience because with the nine of wands, even when the when times get tough or when experiences occur that you don't like, you're able to stand there strong and, and say, hey, I don't like that or that's not right. You're able to stand up for yourself because life isn't perfect. Even with the things that we love, there are things that happen that we don't expect and we don't like. So being in a stable like um, king of cups having balanced emotions and that's uh, occurs by detaching our needs you get to enjoy what you have but at the same like you get to be part of both worlds where you're like into that attraction into that awesome experience but at the same time grounded and uh, you're able to see reality right when things hit in the wrong way, you're able to stand up for yourself and say, hey, I don't like that. Like, for example, if this is a great opportunity where you get to do what you love and someone is taking advantage of you because, hey, you're doing something that you love, you get to say, no, uh, I, I love this opportunity. I love that I do some things that I love, but it's got to come with respect, for example. And, and I feel like uh, I'm not being respected in that situation and so on. So your guides, as you can see, are calling for you to detach, meaning enjoy that experience, but at the same time, don't let it get to your head. Um, don't indulge in need because it will uh, put you down. This experience, as you can see, is going to feel so good. And it's easier said than done when one is at an all-time high. But if you have it in mind from the very beginning that you will be mindful and careful uh, to detach when it's needed, you will be doing yourself a great favor in the future because you'll be able to fall in love, do that thing that you love or go through that awesome experience without allowing others, for example, to manipulate you or even without meaning to or for others to take advantage of you or someone to notice, hey, why don't we pay them less? Or why don't we give them that? Or something of the sort that you do not deserve. And so staying level-headed in how you manage your emotions, like the King of Cups, allows you to navigate through this in a balanced manner. Part of you enjoys and indulges in that awesome experience that you're meant to indulge in. But at the same time, you know your worth or you know um, that you shouldn't take something less than what you deserve and so on, which will prove to be super healthy when you want to stand up for yourself and go, okay, yes, I do love all of these things. They're awesome, but I love uh, um, my rights more. I love myself more. I love, um, yeah, I love my strength more. 
and that's not what I deserve. In all cases, this is going to be an awesome experience. If this is like a relationship, it's your divine counterpart. If this is travel, obviously you're going somewhere awesome that you will love. <laughs> and if this is you starting your own um, artistic career, then you're just going to have a great time. And look, you're going to be very grateful, especially if you... Uh, take heed the call heed your guide's advice and do it in the right way in the right balanced way boy you're gonna love this new experience that you're about to embark on at this point of your life so choose the wise way with the king of swords and um, choose the smart way and don't let that indulgence take control over you and take you to uh, the wrong direction if you do take it in the right direction it is going to feel uh, very stable for you and very nurturing, uh, very abundant, very luxurious, whatever the Empress here represents for you. And on top of that, you're going to feel strong and you're going to love the emotional experience with the King of Cups. You'll feel like you've manifested, manifested something awesome, but you are... At the same time, feeling strong, in control of yourself, in control of the situation, in, in your favor. And, and yeah, that's what your guides are guiding you to do. So something is definitely awesome starting now <laughs> for you, my dear pile number one. I wish you all the best of luck with that. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please do consider joining the memberships. You'll find the join button below this video. I also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find. Um, you get a, a badge with a white feather, which changes color by time as long as you stay in the memberships. And it's honestly a great way to support me, guys. For those of you who have, I want to thank you so much. And I want you to know that it really does support me in being able to do what I love to do, guys, for you every day, which is uh, readings from my heart to yours nearly every single day. So thank you guys so much for the support. And if you can and wish to do so, I thank you so much. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful soda light in the shape of a pyramid. And some of you picked this pile using the high priestess of this deck. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Libra. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your... Wow, four. Okay. No, five. Wow. Okay. We'll trust the process, <laughs> I guess. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. Uh, this is just another way for other people to pick their piles as well. And they are, are certainly not the official signs of the pile. Okay, so let's put them to the side. And yeah, check out your uh, oracle cards first. So as you know, we're taking a look at important news from your spirit guides. Okay, so you've got clean it up, right? You have the weaver rediscovery transition. Really cool. Okay, I'm, I, I suddenly heard in my mind's ear, uh, what did I just hear? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> For it, it, it came and it left. Uh, if I hear it again, I'll let you know about it. Okay, so you've got exchanging gifts. You have no place like home. Oh, I heard clean up, uh, clean up this mess. So maybe you're going through something difficult that's going to clear out or something. Mm. you have regeneration co-create and you have moon and capricorn with practicality okay 
so cool right let's take a look at the last cards that we have here what if i push this up a little bit we'll have space for one more card here mars in virgo with criticism okay you have glow wow let your inner light shine what makes your inner light glow could that be the clean up especially home you know it could be your vessel your body your yourself your inner self and you have jupiter and pisces with seduction okay so let's take virgo and pisces energy is very strong in this pile for sure okay so now let's take a look at your tarot cards it's the only way we'll understand the important news from your spirit guides and see what's going on because there seems to be some form of surprise going on in your like uh, i see you doing your everyday life going about your everyday life in the same rhythm doing the same thing capricorn you know you go to work you come back you maybe take care of your children or you you do you, you do this or you do that and it's so rhythmic you know and so there's a surprise happening taking you from the regular everyday thing you know you're weaving it's a pattern I believe you're going through an everyday pattern so far and it seems like something is going to come as a surprise it's going to be a pleasant one it's gonna I don't want to say seduce you but like um it's going to make you feel good it's going to attract your attract your attention for sure okay so let's find out more the only way we'll understand what your important news from your spirit guides is is to take a look at your tarot cards so you've got the full card there's definitely a, a new beginning here or you're embarking on a new journey okay so whoa you've got the six of wands with success how awesome okay <laughs> i'm glad we waited you have the king of swords with control you have the star card with silence. The five of wands with totality. I really feel like something is ending that used to be a struggle. We did see it with clean it up. So that's for sure. You have, wow, the queen of wands with sharing. The Two of Cups with Friendliness. The Four of Wands with Participation. And the Ace of Swords with Consciousness. Let's stop there for a moment before we pull out more cards and see what your important news is. Regeneration. Something is happening now after maybe some mess has occurred also with exchanging gifts i feel like this surprise is coming to you due to some good karma that you've done in the past especially with the queen of wands she's known to be generous you know she's known to build others up as she builds her own kingdom so there's a lot of generosity here it makes me think with co-create specifically being one of your key cards and clean it up i i feel like you're going through some form of difficulty and in fact you are like working hard towards it every day like trying to make it work or working hard towards something to put it into order at the very least you're like putting a lot of work towards something to make it work and it looks like due to some really good karma 
that you have done in the past it is now serving you with co-create with sharing it is serving you in healing some form of mess up going on in your life that you work you have to work very hard to keep in order uh, and this karma is now going to help you regenerate energy that will help you succeed it's going to help you now live in a new way in a new way where you don't have to maybe work as hard to make something work it's less work towards something and more success so it could be in anything maybe you have to work so hard to deal with someone and that karma is serving you like let's say this is your partner or your manager uh, and here there's good karma where you don't have to now put that amount of work to make the relationship amicable or work you know um it could be making ends meet good karma is coming to help you um succeed or maybe help you get more money without having to put that amount of work in maybe you have three jobs i'm seeing three maybe you have three jobs just to make things work uh, it could also be working so hard to keep your health afloat and you can see here with the glow up your health is going to improve exponentially where of course you take care of yourself and everything but you don't have to like uh, do so much just to keep um, yourself well feeling well you know i'm getting that sense of lack of security because of the hanging house where it says no place like home uh, i feel like your life somehow depended on this situation that was so messy your finances or your health or your connections with critical people in your life whatever that is um it was hanging there and home makes me feel like you're gonna feel so secure now in that situation where you no longer have to worry every single day how you're going to make this work the glow makes me feel like you're gonna feel so good. You're gonna go, oh, I, I, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed in this situation and how it is working out. For some of you, it perhaps may have to do with your reputation because of criticism here and the Queen of Wands. Maybe some of you uh, like had to work double, triple or six times as hard as other people to do what you do because maybe someone uh, had affected your reputation uh, you know maybe you work with your hands and uh, uh, maybe you, so one time a product didn't go well and it tarnished your reputation and now you have to work so much just to like keep afloat because of that reputation in that case you can see that uh, uh, you will become popular with the queen of wands like you're you'll be very successful if that's your case you're glowing right so uh, the old reputation is going is going wary it's going to the side and new reputation is forming for you i can think of so many things but it really depends on where you feel like something is a bit messy or something uh, is scaring you is lacking is not making you feel secure in your life that is now um like being cleaned up and due to a past karma as mentioned you are now going to be gifted with the opportunity to take another way that makes it just work out for you generously now you will feel like you are in control of the situation and with silence, it really makes me feel like without having to put so much um, like worry into it, I feel serenity here. I feel serenity. Someone who has their hands on their heart and goes, 
ah, oh, I feel so good. <laughs> so you, there's tranquility, there's calmness. I think this is talking about lack of worry, where you're at peace and you, you're in control with peace. Now you can navigate tranquilly. And you can see that the struggle that you once had to go through is now coming to an end with totality, with that specific Five of Wands card. Because here, it seems like they decided to work together rather than work against each other. So whether this is your connection with other people or with a specific situation, it's like the situation is now working for you and not against you, where you're like barely making it work. And so it's a new be beginning of energy. Uh, I feel that strongly with the Buddha here, with the Ace of Swords. And I feel like your guides are saying, actually, I get it. Your guides are saying, uh, clean up. So your whole situation is changing. For now, they want you to um, stop blaming yourself, stop thinking uh, negatively, stop wor worrying, uh, stop putting all of the responsibility just on yourself. Although it's awesome to put the responsibility on oneself so that you are in control of the situation, work towards it, but not when it comes to it emotionally. Like don't overburden yourself, blaming yourself or... Um, thinking, oh, how is this going to work if I only have this or that? While it's true that it's awesome to take responsibility of your situation, that is an awesome trait to, ha to have. But don't take it to the extreme where you forget that you're co-creating with the universe, uh, that there is more life and energy, generation, that the universe can create for you. Um, so there is sharing here of efforts. Never forget that. So put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath and relax is what I really feel your guides are saying. See the sharing of hands here. It's a co-creative process. And I feel like your guides are saying, we are with you. Um, you've done some great karma to help other people out. You've done your share of sharing and now it's coming full circle back to you. And that's how things work. Um, that's the divine time where this is working out for you, the, the good karma that you've done. And so with the Ace of Swords, a strong new beginning is happening for you. And it has already started energetically and you can see it with the egg here. The energy has, for, uh, has, has formed and it's now going to begin in your life, clearing up uh, the difficulties that you had to go through. Perhaps it has to do with your work because of the weaver. I'm just guessing uh, because of the weaver and Capricorn. So perhaps it had to do with your work, but uh, this could also be signifying that you are someone who likes to take responsibilities and matters into your own hands. You like to weave your own future. Kudos to you, my dear pal number two, you're doing the right thing, but never forget that it's a co-creation process, whether in the in, in anything that happens. When it's really good, remember that you're co-creating with the universe. When it's bad, don't put all the blame on yourself. Remember, it's a process. And so here where the participation uh, energy is coming together, your good karma, your guides, are uh, everything is in your favor, I feel, that is helping you step up from this difficult situation. And soon you will find that there's a lot of harmony happening in that difficult area of your life so much harmony so much kindness i feel like you're going to feel settled home safe and peaceful so let's find out how this great karma is going to manifest in your life you have the seven of wands with stress Okay, you have the Seven of Cups with projections. Hmm. The Six of Pentacles with compromise. I'm feeling duality here. And you have the Ten of Wands with suppression. So how is this going to happen? Do you see how this person is so stressed 
and um, there's someone who's blowing up that bubble, perhaps releasing that person from this type of stress. It's like, okay, this world that you're living in is so stressful, let's take you out of it. And so you can see the idea of how one tiny little pin can change this whole dynamic and this whole situation that this person is going through. And so this is right away letting me know that sometimes things feel so complicated and so difficult and you have to juggle things and do things. And sometimes one tiny solution can be the very thing that takes you out of it. And it looks like this solution is through something that is already in your hands, that something that you already have, that's going to help burst this stress bubble. It's in conjunction to the sharing card. So perhaps something that you have will be generous to you, will be giving to you, the gifts will be giving to you without you even realizing. It's something that you look at every day, but you haven't really seen it in that way. Or ever thought that it was going to be the very thing that could connect you to something or you know the six of pentacles is also a card of generosity by the way or could be some, the very thing that could give you back generously i can't help but feel like see these two are connected they feel so much alike and also these two perhaps perhaps it is someone you're connected with every day perhaps but you didn't see them in that way that they would help, for example. A friend with friendliness? I don't know. What's that? I feel like it's perhaps someone. Someone you see but haven't seen or something crazy. I, I know it's crazy, but <laughs> since I'm, I don't really know exactly your story, I'm trying to read the energy to perhaps uh, give you a clue. Perhaps there is someone here who can see you struggling, carrying a heavy load. They relate to you. And they want to bring things into balance for you. I have a strong feeling that is specifically through somebody's kindness who can see you. Maybe they can see you and you don't know how they much they can see you and relate to the heaviness that you're carrying. They want you to feel at peace and be able to do what you do in a more orderly manner in a more, less chaotic manner. Uh, and they want you to do what you do while feeling comfortable. You know, this could be like, if this is your health, a doctor who's gonna um, present something that uh, is very helpful to you so that you don't have to like feel bad the way you did. Uh, it could be uh, someone helping you out with a nice lump sum of money. It could be like the manager of a manager taking you from this team, putting you in another team that is more peaceful, allowing you to do your work peacefully. It depends on what the situation is, but uh, at the end of the day, the news that is coming from your guides is that uh, don't worry, things have started to change energetically and it's manifesting through a person, your karma through a person giving to you as you have done, uh, felt for someone in the past, wanted to be there for them. Also, this is a person who is like, has a soul like yours, you know, uh, vibrates your good energy and also is feeling for you 
and would like to burst that bubble of stress that you are going through. And my dear pile number one, this is what I see as your important news from your spirit guides. I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please do consider jo joining the memberships. You will find a join button under this video. I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find. Uh, when you do join, you become a, mem a part of the Soul Family memberships. You get a badge with a white feather every time you comment down in the comment section and it changes color every month to present the, the time that you've spent supporting me Thank you, everyone who has decided to support me. You have no idea what a big difference it makes in helping support the channel and allowing me to be able to do what I do for you guys. What I'm passionate about is being able to present free readings from my heart to yours nearly every single day. And if you feel like you can and wish to support me, I thank you so much in advance. You have no idea what a big difference it makes, as I mentioned. And my dear pile number two, so excited about this huge news. <laughs> Please don't forget to update me. All the best of luck with that. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Mukite Jasper. And some of you have picked this pile using this High Priestess. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, and Aries. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. And um, they are definitely not the official signs of this pile. Okay, place this here and pull out the last card of this deck. Guys, right in front of me as I put the deck, this card is has fallen to the side. So I'm going to take it. And I feel like here something is fated to happen now for you. Because it reminds me of uh, the Greek fates with the thread and the scissors. So, yeah, it was like right in front of my eyes. I couldn't not see it. <laughs> and so I pulled it out. Okay, so let me put this there. And let's check out your cards. So... You have let go. Oh, I love this card for you. It feels so good. It feels like you're being relieved from some form of stresses or being relieved from something. It feels like a celebration with the confetti, celebrating something. Anyways, too early. It says let go. Yeah, the release is what I'm getting. Uh, the let go is what's giving me this idea of release. Letting go is so hard, but it'll make room for more lovely things to enter your life. Okay, I'm going to be open-minded and wait completely to see what the cards show us. You have not for you. Okay, now there, there's a strong message here, actually. So it says not for you. Nope. Okay. Let go, not for you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you have the thief seizing the moment. Selfishness. I think, sorry, your pile is going to be very interesting. All right. And the tailor, something's fated here. What if I push these up a bit? This way we have room for a third card so you've got jupiter and aquarius with innovation hmm. you have go to no 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 you have to the sea it does look like a bath which reminds me of a cleanse it, right, it reminds me of a move a direction navigation 
you have wow mercury in gemini with excitement so nice and you have saturn in pisces with loss i mean that's the third synchronicity here of losing something or taking away something from your life in fact this is what thief could be saying like something being taken away from you but look you've got excitement so that's not bad news let's see so excited to find out what this is for you guys what is your important news wow ten of cups beginning your reading this is awesome like if you're worried please don't be worried and ten of cups is a card of elation being extremely happy excitement happiness don't worry about it <laughs> so it, i could be right from the very beginning where you're being released from something something uh, is being taken from you that you do not like because intuitively it is the first thing that i felt remember when i told you guys i feel like you're being relieved from something so let's see what is your important news from your spirit guides what is your important news from your spirit guides so end of a heavy cycle with the ten of wands you're releasing heaviness which is exactly what i felt here that's the meaning of the ten of wands you have the ace of cups and a new beginning that you will love will overflow you with joy is right at the corner and you've got the five of pentacles wow the seven of pentacles right i'm getting a lot of ideas with the seven of pentacles but i'll wait and you've got the higher event okay let's stop there for a moment and look at the energy of the reading see what the important news is and then we continue so there's obviously some exciting news that you will hear about that uh, will allow you to have a new beginning and you're moving from energy of lack with the five of pentacles to energy of overflow uh, like an overflow because of the ace of cups and the growth of abundance like i'm getting the idea with the seven of pentacles here that this is a lady who has a huge maybe farm a huge land she's already got the, the trees she's already abundant and it's working out for her like the trees in a cyclical manner they bear the fruits the grapes she takes them she creates wine she's abundant is what i'm feeling here uh, in the seven of pentacles which makes me feel like something is working out naturally for you automatically is there effort yes is there commitment yes with the hierophant but i'm getting this idea that something is just working out for you right there's this idea of overflow of abundance going on here you know they have a lovely picnic uh, there goes the grapes again there they have honey they have uh, drinks they have a baby they're just abundant this family <laughs> and so it makes me feel with this card that happiness differs from one person to the other it it's um this idea that you've got you've got more than what it needs to make you happy your definition of happiness they're on a lake they're on a river they've got their they've got each other they've got more than that what they need to have like a nice everyday life so it's like it's more than enough it's a ten of cups it's more than enough to make you so happy in your life so i am seeing the end you're letting go of something 100 percent. something is being in fact taken away from you it's like the universe is just like when you lose a person sometimes 
It's the universe that takes something from you. But it's not you losing a person. I'm just giving the example. <laughs> Here, the good news is what's being taken from you is something that's a heavy load on you. In fact, when it comes to people, you're going to be surrounded with the people that you love. But I feel like an experience that's been very heavy on you is now fated to end in your life. It's going to magically be taken from you. And you will be hearing good news about how you're going to move towards something else. So this exciting news, maybe even a move, I'm not sure. Maybe you're going overseas. It says to the sea. Very specific, but it might not resonate with uh, so many of you. But it's there. So there's a move in your life coming through exciting news happening in your life. Perhaps you're going to be moving to an opposite team. Like, for example, if you work in a company, for example, that has a competitor, uh, very specific again, but I'm seeing it, maybe you are going to leave one and go to the other, you will find that this company wasn't treating you well, while the other company may be treating you very well. So uh, specific, what is there? Maybe you're going to go uh, to a country opposite to yours. Uh, maybe like on the other side. Maybe. What else could this signify? Opposite direction that you... Then what you're focusing on at the moment. Opposite direction. In all cases, this, um, I heard email, I was going to say communication, and I heard email almost to the fact where I was going to say email. So you're going to get some form of communication that will be the reason where you end uh, a stage in your life. It is fated to happen. And you will be moving on to a new beginning that feels like it's working out for you. Even the Hierophant here is relaxed. They're doing yoga. They Yes, they're being mindful, but it's relaxing. So I feel like you're moving to a more relaxing setting. You'll be with the Hierophant again, committing to something else. Maybe some of you will be teachers. Maybe some of you will be um, like guides to others. Very specific again, but it's there. So... It's, things are working out for you in this new environment that you're going to go towards. You will be committing to something new, but it's far more peaceful. You are surrounded by people that you love. You're surrounded by blessings that feels to you that is more enough, more than enough to make you so happy in life. You feel grateful. You feel blessed. And in this new location, depending on what it is, it could be a job, it could be anything in your personal life, will allow you to unleash your creativity it will allow you to unleash um uh, like give you the space to do to to create your ideas to apply your ideas um apply your talents maybe even have the space to do what you may even have come here to do because i'm seeing these the infinity symbol which reminds me constantly of uh, what's the word called uh, transcendence from one life to the other so I, I i feel like you came here to perhaps it will give you the space for you to be able to do what you came here to do because it's the 11th house as well and it's like uh, humanitarian activities as well so I think it will give you the space to do something that you for the greater good exactly for the greater good that's really what I'm seeing exactly in your reading so <coughs> excuse me for a lot of you there's a great move going on could be a move from uh, one company to a competitor it could be a move from one country or one city to the opposite city. Opposite does could be location or it could be like different in so many ways. Uh, and 
it's gonna end before you know it with the thief with the thief here it's like before you know it your life's changed and you're like whoa i i would have never believed like from the beginning of the month towards the end of my, my the month my life has changed to that extent and so here you can clearly see as your significator card a release of something super heavy it, it, you know it's the pinnacle of it with the ten tens are pinnacles you know ten of cups is pinnacle of happiness like you're going to be so happy also ten of wands you've reached the pinnacle of being able to bear this energy uh, any longer you're like I, I was barely making it happen some this sort of energy as i it's like i couldn't take it anymore kind of energy this is sliding out let's take it you have the eight of swords the page of cups see i feel like you're gonna be allowed to be more creative to bring out your spiritual essence your imagination your juice your special sauce it, whereas before, perhaps you were like so stuck, you couldn't fly off. You know, there's something about you being stuck. You felt so stuck. Now you're like feeling free and enjoying it. You know, you have the magician. Wow, the magician is a skilled person, right? It's in the same theme of this card and this page of cups you've another 10 unbelievable you've got the 10 of pentacles again the tens are pinnacle of an energy and here you have the 10 of pentacles kind of makes me feel like you are going to be very abundant did we did see it here 10 of pentacles yeah you're going to be very fortunate very abundant uh, if this is in line with money for you somehow then this means that you are going to not just be uh, lucky enough to go by. Ten of Pentacles is like you're going to be, it's the pinnacle of it. You're going to be very fortunate when it comes to your finances. If this is not finances, then some form of material support. You're going to be very abundant in some form of material asset or material thing that's going to help support you to do what you are meant to do you've got the four of cups look at that it's definitely coming as a surprise this message it's like you are there being concerned carrying a heavy load feeling the lack and it will really be offered to you in a time of distress and not knowing what you're gonna do wow <laughs> then you have the star it really makes me feel like it's going to be a dream come true for you this is really going to be my dear pile number three a huge dream for you this is uh, like uh, something you have wished for because it's making you so happy here i believe that the setup of the next move you're going towards it's far different from the one you're in because not only is it affecting your abundance and not only is it allowing you to do what you love but it's also freeing you from a heaviness and it's freeing you from feeling stuck in place it's freeing you from having to worry about how to get some resources there's so much peace of mind here and It makes me feel like it is the best scenario that you could have ever wished for uh, to happen for you. It is really going to be a great uh, situation. So let's find out more about this communication that you're getting. Let's try to get more details about the communication itself. What is this communication for pile number three, please? So... You've got the nine of pentacles. Wow, this is like a, a wish fulfillment. You've got the star and the nine of pentacles following each other. This is something that you have dreamt about. This is a wish fulfillment. 
okay and you've got the wine and the tree something is working out for you mm. okay so the message nine of pentacles six of pentacles again a card of generosity is so cool it's really weird like here you can see someone giving right uh, if you want to check out pile number two you might get more information about that because uh, coincidentally pile two also had something to do with uh, someone giving generously for you however i believe like it's a generous offer because that's someone offering a drink right it's a generous offer being sent to you maybe in your email maybe it's a generous overseas offer right wow <laughs> you've got the wheel of fortune i feel like uh, this is like one of those times because this is a spinning wheel and it could really hit anywhere i feel like this card is signifying it's like that uh, hit of great luck that is sometimes fated to happen to people like it's one of those great stories that you would hear about how someone got something amazing in their life so it's a great hit of luck for you and it's coming from someone offering you a generous offer okay again someone presenting you with something with the six of cups how awesome <laughs> okay by the way Perhaps this is someone prompting to offer you this, if this is a person for you, because they feel a spiritual connection with you from another life. Maybe they don't even know it, but it's someone, even if it's another company, it's someone in that company wanting to offer that to you because they feel connected to you somehow. It just feels there's a soul connection. It feels right. And in fact, when you do go there, wherever you're going, it's going to feel so homey, so good. If you're joining a new team, you know, the Ten of Cups is a happy family. You're going to feel so coherent, so much good energy, so much love uh, happening between you and the team members you're going to, if this is your work. So someone is here offering you something that feels so connected to you, but also sees you as super skilled and as a great opportunity for something good to happen. This is like the stars are aligning, fated for this offer to come to you. Wow, <laughs> talk about abundance here. It's very strong in your reading with the King of Pentacles. You know, when I look at this card, I always remember the expression, you, can ha you, you want your cake and eat it too. To me, it feels like you're going to be in a great situation that you love, that makes you feel abundant and it gives you the space to do what you love to do, something that you would have done for free, in fact but also being generously paid for it. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up. And it may not be your work in that case. You are doing something that you would have done for free. You would have done because this is what you want to do and being rewarded for it <laughs> in such a great way. And finally, you have the page of wands. This makes me feel like you're starting a new page, a new chapter of your life. This is very obvious. I see you packing up. I see you packing, uh, yeah, packing up maybe your suits. I see you traveling. Uh, I see you maybe, maybe it's your office. You're packing up your items from one office, leaving the company to another. Yeah, a packing up is happening. You accepting the offer. You feeling it's generous. Nine of pentacles signifies that you're going to be in a place that you love, doing the things that you love, you know, feeling satisfied and fulfilled. And congratulations, my dear pile number one, my God, that's why you have the star. <laughs> I paused there for a long while because I feel like this is what you would have hoped for. Um, and maybe even thought it was crazy to hope for, you know, in your daydreams when speaking to friends, you would say, oh, how I wish 
I would be offered a deal in Hollywood to do just the roles that I love and being able to be paid in millions and have a great impact on the planet to give a strong message. Oh, <laughs> you know, and maybe you and your friends lying and hello, you got that email. Of course, that's a crazy uh, dream, but who am I to say, right? This is what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to bring an example that feels outrageous it's something that you would only like put your hands on your cheeks um, to support your chin and dream about and, and to say, oh, or something like, oh, I wish I could like paint forever in front of the sea and unleash my creativity um, and be paid millions for it <laughs> and have my paintings affect people in a positive way so that it... Uh, you know, it makes them think about the environment, you know, something like that. And you and your friends would laugh it off. And suddenly it's like literally right there in your email. So I'm just translating energy to show you that it's something that you would have um, laid your cheeks on your hands to dream about. It feels like how lovely would it be to live something like that and move on with your day. That is the energy that is being translated in your life at the moment. It's being offered to you during a time where you can't take a single step anymore. It's so heavy. And it's uh, allowing you to do what you want. The offer is super generous. You get to do what you like and be rewarded for it greatly. And I see you packing up <clears throat> and moving very soon, my dear pile number three. This is exactly what I see in your cards. When it, when it comes to the important news from your spirit guides, I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading, my dear pile number three. I've enjoyed it for you so much. All the best of luck with that, with this fated event, my dear pile number three. Sending you so much love. And if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please do consider joining the memberships. You'll find a join button under this video. There, I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find. It is honestly a great way to support me and support the channel. For those of you who have done so, I want to thank you dearly from my heart. <laughs> thank you for supporting me and helping me to do what I wish to do, which is create readings for you guys nearly every single day. And if you can and uh, are considering to, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity and your kindness. And my dear pile number three, I wish you the best of luck for what's happening here, sending you so much love, and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye!